Good afternoon. Today we are at the St. Pete Pier. Pier opened about a year ago in downtown St. Petersburg. This is the third reincarnation of the pier. We're going to walk all the way down to the end and then take a look at the sights along the way. And we turn around. This is where we came from <clears throat> downtown. There's parking. In parking garages, there's a Sundial parking garage. It's relatively cheap in that direction, or you can park on the pier. But I believe there is a uh, parking fee is around $2 an hour. I'm not exactly sure what it is, and I think it varies depending on if it's a weekend or, uh, or a weekday. Looks like they have some kinds of arts and craft booths set up here. I don't know if that's just this weekend. It's uh, September, Saturday afternoon. It's raining this morning. It's a little overcast today. And there's the marina, which runs right at the beginning of the pier. And just for reference, that's the Museum of Art right there, the Museum of Fine Arts. All right. Like I say, I don't know if this is uh, just set up here today or if this is permanent or if. Uh, You know, there's some type of event going on. This is our first time coming down here. And also at the entrance to the pier, this is the St. Petersburg Museum of History. And there are other great museums downtown St. Petersburg. There's uh, the <clears throat> Dolly Museum, the Holocaust Museum, and several others that are worth seeing. <clears throat> so you can come down, go to a few museums, do some shopping, great restaurants, and then take a walk down the pier. There's also some good restaurants on the pier. Judging by the signs, it looks like most of these vendors are probably here all the time. They do have courtesy shuttles too. It looks like there's one of them right there that will take you all the way to the end of the pier and back. And I believe they are free. And I think there's four different stops along the way. Here comes one of the trams now. Walk over here real quick and show you the marina.
It looks like there is metered parking along the street here. Two fifty per hour. Nine a.m. to ten p.m. Monday through Sunday. So if you want to be a little closer, you just pay a little more. And here's the uh, sculpture that they've set up here. It's been a kind of a controversial sculpture <clears throat> due to the cost, among other things. Kind of interesting. That's oh, right. Glacier playground right behind us here. Okay, there's a sculpture back there of an airplane. The first commercial flight to ever take place was right here in St. Petersburg. I believe the plane uh, is also, the, a replica is on display at the St. Petersburg Museum of History. There's a statue they've made of it. Right there. And here's some more parking here. It's actually covered parking. Here's a little map. There's the splash pad. Perfect for a hot day, which is most of the time down here in St. Petersburg. There's the Spa Beach Bistro. I see Stone Fired Pizza.
tram. Another relaxing place to hang out. Enjoy the view. was the uh, grass that we just saw it's right above there and that path over there goes to the beach There's Doc Ford's restaurant, so there's a good spot to eat. <clears throat> About halfway down the pier. Here's another tram, they run pretty regularly. Some kind of tiki, I don't know if you can see that, some kind of tiki hot bar is floating out there. That is Albert Witted Airport on the other side of the water. It's a uh, smaller airport for uh, smaller planes, no commercial airlines. And then we're not going to go inside here, but this is the Tampa Bay Watch Discovery Center. And they charge an admission, I think it's only about $5. And they have different things in there to look at. And there's the end of the pier. I believe it has four levels. little path here you can walk along. Be closer to the water. Bike parking here, so if you want to ride your bike down here. I don't know if you remember the old pier that used to be here. It had an inverted triangle with rooftop bars and uh, restaurants. I believe there was an aquarium inside. 
And before that, it was called the Million Dollar. about two years to do the renovations. We'll go inside, we'll walk up and take a look at the uh, what you can see in the view from up there. It's like we have Pier Tiki, another place called Teak, and then the Driftwood Cafe. Looks like you have your choice of indoor or outdoor seating. on the second level on the back side. They do have a fishing pier here, I'll show you that. So that whole back deck is for fishing. You can have a, a cleaning fish cleaning station, a couple hoses. Very nice. Go up to the third level. And we'll go take a look at the fourth fourth level. Yeah. Uh, this is a great view here. Downtown St. Pete. You see the uh, approach to the pier we just walked down. The airport. So they have this comfortable seating up here. Some Kiki huts over there. This is all a bar up on this level. Be great on a Friday, Saturday night, or actually any night. So you got a great view of the city, great view of the bay, a little bit of everything. All right, now we'll head on back. Now we take a closer look at the fishing deck. This is all the way at the back of the pier. This is as far back as you can go. <clears throat> Somebody caught a little fish there. And 
You have gator gyms, bait and tackle, so you don't need to bring anything, just bring your fishing pole. That's kind of nice. And here is the Pier Gear Gifts. So they do have a gift shop. If you want to get a t-shirt or something. Alright, now we're going to catch the tram on the way back. Alright, we decided to take the tram back. So there's three stops, four stops total. So we'll be making three stops on the way back. This will definitely be walking on a hot day. This is the first stop. Fortunately, we're full. And we're moving again. Number two, we have one more stop after, after this one. Another stop here. This is by the main parking area. That's the tram stop.
other parking area. end of the line. Alright, last stop, thank you to be quick and be here. And we're back where we started. Do I notice they did have restrooms all along the way and there's more restrooms right there. And that'll do it for our tour of the St. Pete Pier. Hope you enjoyed it. It's just a quick, quick tour to show you what's going on down here in downtown St. Pete. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, uh, like the video, and look for some of our other videos that we have showing you all over Florida, uh, both old and new videos. Again, thank you very much.